Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper. I'm back with a card for Scrapbook Boutique. I'm going to use these wonderful enamel dots there from We Are Memory Keepers. They're really nice and large. I love the bright colours. And I think this one's called Warm. And this new die to me, it's from Avriel. And it's called Count On It. And there is actually a matching stamp set. I've got some different coloured cardstocks there. And I'll be doing some die cutting. So I'll get started with um, just covering my card front. And I've got a top fold card, finished size is 15 by 10 and a half centimetres. And some grapefruit cardstock. I've cut a piece of white cardstock exactly the same size. Because this is a new die, all the numbers are still joined. So I'll just quickly separate those. So this is going to be a 40th card and I'll Just pop that nice and straight up in the center. Now to make sure these stay in place when I'm die cutting, I'll just use a little bit of low tack tape. You can use either washi or whatever you've got. I've got some painter's tape here. Now my other numbers, I'm going to die cut them as well and just randomly have them falling around the, the 40. I'll just run this through my die cutting machine. I've got to keep all the little bits of the numbers as well so when I put my car back together I can put them where they're meant to be, so I'll just put them across here. Just carefully peel off the tape. I'm cutting some strips of paper from coloured cardstock, just varying kind of widths. I've got some yellow and some orange. One of my favourite liquid adhesives. This is the Tombow Mono, and I'm using this to adhere the strips down. And then it's as simple as flipping my card over and cutting it with some. Straight scissors. My sentiments from the Hero Arts It's Your Day, it says yay. And then I have some this to that uh, foam squares, and I'll put lots of these on the back, especially around the die cut areas. I'll just pop this down on the front. And then I now still need to put in my centers of the letters. And I do want these popped up, so I'll just cut up my phone tape so that it fits. So I don't like the way that the yay turned out and stamp it very well so create a little banner I might just use a different pair of scissors so. Oops, 
some more foam dots. Just to add a little bit of bling, I have some Studio Calico. These are some more enamel dots, and these ones are really sweet. They're a um, like a gold bling. So pop these just randomly as well. one in that one and I'm done. Lots of die cutting and enamel dots today so I hope you've had some fun and I'll be back again real soon and you'll find all the products that I've used linked at my blog otherwise head on over to Scrapbook Boutique and you can find them there. So until next time, happy paper crafting. Bye!